What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about a structured approach to organic chemistry flashcards. It's kind of amazing how much information gets thrown at you in these courses and it's essential that you have a very organized way for you to study out the reaction mechanisms. So I have with me some tips for how to keep yourself engaged so that when you're spending all of this time in lab for probably six hours a week, you're spending two to three hours a week on pre and post labs, you're spending at least three hours a week in lecture, probably another two hours in office hours, and then hopefully six hours in your study groups and on your own studying. It's going to be kind of overwhelming. You need a way to hit the ground running when you start getting all of the information for your course. So without further ado, let's just get to our flashcard tips. Okay, so some key attributes that you want to put on your flashcard are reactants, products, reaction conditions, a fold in your card so that you can flip from one side to the other easily without cheating yourself, as I'll get into later, and then you'll also want key vocabulary and or the name of the reaction. So you're going to want to start by getting yourself a box. So this is a box that you can hold all your note cards in. Get some colorful cards. If you enjoy colors, you find that that will keep you more engaged. I'd highly recommend to get the colored note cards. Plus, it's been shown that colors help you remember things better. So if you remember, oh, it was on a teal note card. I remember this, I remember this. You're more likely to get it. You can also just get plain white. Um, if you can, get the ones that don't have the lines. I highly recommend that as well. Now also, this is going to sound unconventional, but get yourself some washi tape. Uh, this will keep you more engaged and it also will reinforce the fold in our cards that we're going to be talking about here. So here are some examples of what I've made so far. And you can see where I've put the washi tape on it to reinforce a fold about one third of the way through the card. And that's actually to hide the answer to the question that you're asking. If you look at this side of the reaction, you can see the reactants and the reaction conditions, but then you don't want to give away the answer, so you don't want to see the products, so you want to be looking at it this way, and then you'll unfold it after you've made a guess. So that's a good way to keep the answer away from you so you're not cheating yourself out of that precious process of rewiring your brain to remember this long term. Every day you have lecture, go through and make a note card for each reaction that gets covered because that lets your mind kind of relax with the process of you drawing the molecules out and it's a refresher because you haven't had enough time to pass that you've forgotten what was covered in class where it kind of made sense at the time. So it's going to be that continual reinforcement that's going to actually encourage you to remember and commit things to long-term memory so that when you get to an exam you're not freaking out because everything was just sort of hanging on by dear life in the short-term memory. So you'll want to have scratch paper with you and you'll take out a note card and you'll fold it so that it matches the way that you're folding it in general. I'd say kind of a ratio of like one third folded to two thirds. And you're going to want to write on the left side your reactant or reactants. You're going to want to put your reaction conditions. This is very important. This is actually going to be a lot of points and a lot of clues on a lot of tests. So don't forget about this. Very important. Then on the right side, you're going to want to put what the products are. And most of the time you want to focus on the major product. But if it's a problem that's going to involve regio selectivity, you're going to want to put all of the products and then kind of tell yourself by temperature, you know, what's the major product and what percentage is that? Is it 80%, 70% versus the minor product, which is, you know, the 30%. So reactants, reaction conditions, and products. Then on the back, you're going to want to take that one third section at the top and I would recommend putting down any key vocabulary that was unique to this reaction or this was the first time that you saw this. So, saw these vocab. So you'll write those there and then you can use this card as an opportunity to refresh yourself on the vocab later on. This is the name of the reaction. I would put it here, right above the mechanism. And you're probably going to need a piece of scratch paper when you're making your cards for the first time to kind of work out what the mechanism generally should be until you kind of understand what's going on. And then when you feel like you can do it, write it small and concisely on the note card. So at the end of the day, what you've got is reactants, reactant conditions to products. You can quiz yourself this way. You can quiz yourself this way and go, okay, what was the process that led to this product? And why is it the major product? So then you'd be able to guess reaction conditions and reactants. Then on this side, you can go, okay, what is the definition of this word? You can write it out or you can tell yourself it. 
what's the definition of this word, etc., etc. Then you can look at the mechanism and go, what is this process called? It's the radical addition of alkyl halides to alkenes. You can flip it over and go, what is this process called? And also list the name of the reaction. And then the final thing you can do is you can know that this is the process and then explain to yourself in your own words or draw from memory and then check yourself with the mechanism. So these are some strategies to go about using note cards most effectively. In my opinion, I would store them this way. That way you're not cheating yourself really by seeing the product before you've had a chance to really analyze what is the question. So these are my tips for engaging and useful flashcards for organic chemistry. If you liked what you saw, would you please like and subscribe to this channel? I put up new videos about every Thursday. I'm trying to build this KISS Crew community so that we have a really helpful, engaging community of learners trying to excel at this course. Please hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive notifications when I'm posting, so that way you can catch us in the premiere and catch us in the live chat. But if you have any questions, please feel free to post them. I will answer them as quickly as I can. And also click in the down bar and check out my links because I post free printables that summarize key points from some of my videos and also give you extra practice. So please check out my website and it's linked in the down bar. Thank you so much guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.